So everyone is afraid of getting pulled over and getting a ticket. The fear that comes from it is really scary. But there's one secret ticket that you can never learn the answer for. Whenever you get pulled over, you have a reason, and usually that reason can be explained. But if you get a red light ticket, you don't know your reason. It just comes with a couple pictures of what you did wrong and a fine that you have to pay. <clears throat> so my topic is about why red light cameras are bad and why they don't really help to improve society to actually hurt the cities that have them. So the first reason is fear of getting a ticket. This fear can cause many different reasons to make the roads more unsafe. Another one is red light cameras are for profit. They aren't there to help the city. They are there to make money. Secondly, uh, they aren't an accurate rep representation of the rules. Sometimes you can turn right on red, but it will catch you saying you ran a red light. It also hurts lower and middle income families more because these tickets actually hurt you and you don't have a chance to prove your innocence. So starting off is uh, red light cameras are bad. Uh, they're used just for profit, meaning that these cameras, whenever you pay your fine, go straight back into the police departments, not really to improve the roads. James Walker pointed this out by saying that only around 30% goes back into helping fix the roads and maintaining good areas. These roads can cause more dangerous potholes that can lead to more wrecks and other things if the money isn't going into where it should be. Another thing is it causes drivers to feel unsafe. James Walker also points out in his article, 10 Reasons Why Red Light Cameras Are Bad, is he points out that many of these traffic violations come from within one second after the light has turned from red to yellow. He argues that by adding one more second left in the yellow light, it will reduce everything. So changing points. So you aren't learning your lesson. Uh, whenever you get into a wreck or get a red light camera ticket, you aren't learning your lesson. You're just kind of doing something. Also, red light cameras have been proven by the Texas Highway Patrol to increase uh, rear-ended wrecks because people are slamming on their brakes more at the yellow light rather than continue on going through. This can cause issues for people who have better brakes, like a smaller car, rather someone who's in a bigger truck who can't stop this easy. Lastly, whenever the light changes, it causes more people to drive erratically. There isn't a constant variable of how someone's going to react from a green to yellow and a yellow to red. So the effects on cities. So cities are having more cameras placed in their major crossroads that are a daily commute for these individuals living in the cities. Normally, people who live in cities are people who are working there, people who are under, uh, underdeveloped and low income. So these places are underdeveloped. So these types of poverty places can't really afford to spend $300 here and there on a red light camera ticket. Even if it was just within one second of it turning red, they will still have to pay. These red light cameras often do more harm to these individuals. It causes more stress on their family, causes a fracture in the workplace, and causes worse living conditions. So with all these conclusions of it being too expensive, it for profit, uh, causing unsafe road conditions, being placed in major cities that really don't need them, I found that cameras have become more harmful and a stress on the drivers resulting in more wrecks. 
calm drivers equals better road conditions and safer conditions too. Uh, if you get pulled over too, you also have a chance to explain your ticket and what's done for you. So I think these reasons are why that the red light cameras like you see here should go down.